Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to talk about why an artist might warm up with gesture drawings. Because we've talked a little bit about the technical side, about how one might approach making gesture drawings, but I have not discussed too much about why you should do it at all. I mean, the short version is, this is how you warm up. This is how you get to know your media. So in the background, I'm going to play my morning warm up that I did just before recording this video. And it's a little bit sped up, but these are just 45 second drawings. So I keep my document as simple as possible. I don't worry about layers. I just give myself a grid. And then anytime 45 seconds passes, I switch to the next grid space and I keep drawing. And the beautiful thing about these 45 second drawings is that I have to capture a lot of information in a short amount of time. And that's the beauty of doing gesture drawing. It's the tempo. Because I'm going to do these drawings one after another, relentlessly. I might do it for 30 or 45 minutes. And in doing this, I get into almost a trance. I don't have the luxury of thinking about what I'm going to do later in the day or what I did last weekend. I am only in the moment. Because if you're going to keep up with these drawings, you got to keep moving. So here's the secret. It's not that I'm practicing drawing people. It's that I'm practicing moving my hand. Because when I'm in the moment trying to analyze this form as exactly as possible, I'm not really thinking about what my hand is doing. My hand is just the extension of my brain. So what I'm learning is how to use the media fluently. I'm getting better at just making marks. Because we're moving so quickly here, I can't really second guess the marks I'm making. So it gives me more drawing confidence. And that confidence is not simply for figure drawing, because later today I'm probably going to go draw spaceships or landscapes or something completely different. But this is still an effective warm up because what I'm doing is I'm exercising the connection between my brain and my hand. I'm not overthinking it. I'm just focusing on what I want to capture, and then my hand is automatically laying it down on the page. So if you're just starting out with this, I'd recommend using an actual sketchbook and natural media, because this is a great way to just get better at drawing. It builds your drawing confidence. And frankly, drawing with traditional pencil and paper is a much better start than jumping straight into digital. But if you're further down the chain and you want to do digital painting, well, then do it in Photoshop. The same idea applies. You are not going to have time to second guess the keyboard shortcuts and the buttons you're pressing, you have to be in the moment. And as these 30 or 60 second chunks tick by, you're going to be drawing, drawing, drawing. And this amazing connection happens. So I'm going to strongly encourage you to give this practice a try. But if you're going to do it, you got to do it all the way. Spend a minimum of 30 minutes working this way. Even if it's the only drawing you get to do that day, the tempo is really only effective once you really get in the mindset. I personally don't do any meditating, but from what I understand, it's similar to that. Once you get in the right mindset, that's when the really good stuff happens. So it might take you 10 or 15 minutes to even get into the right headspace. But once you're there, then you start making real progress. That's when you start learning about the media, gaining that drawing confidence. And if you don't want to do figure drawing, well, that's fine. Another interpretation of this exercise might be to take the drawings from your inspiration folder and seeing if you can capture their essence in 60 seconds. You're still going to end up with a gesture drawing. It's not going to be a fully realized image, but the pace is the important part. Just set up some sort of slideshow on your computer that'll give you a new image in a small time duration, 30, 40, 60 seconds. This is the amount of time we're talking about, because any more time and you'll start getting bogged down with details. But I can tell you from years of experience, if you want to get better at drawing, no matter what level you're at, a gesture drawing warm up is a great way to go. So good luck and thanks for coming to the site, guys.